Do you know Trizon? In a few words, Trizon is a new Linux distribution, but with the focus on containerized applications. With the plus of tools and utilities optimized for Toradex hardware, so we have all this um, tooling and software ecosystem to make the development easier for Horizon operation system. So in this video, I'm going to install this on my Toradex board here, try it and show you this new um, Horizon, this new Linux distribution from Toradex. So if you want to know more, stay with me. Hi everyone, Matheus Castello here and if you don't know me, I am an embedded software developer and Linux kernel developer. And this channel is because I like to share my knowledge about embedded systems and technology. Actually, I have this channel and also another channel, the Microhub Brazil. And Brazil means the country. I'm from Brazil and in the Microhub Brazil, I share Portuguese content. In this channel, I will focus in English content. So. I hope you like this content and more that will come. But okay, let's go to Horizon. Okay, so the first thing we need to try and test Horizon is the Toradex hardware. Here on my desk, I have an Apolis IMX6 computer model from Toradex, and I am using the Exora baseboard. I have here too a um, seven-inch um, screen um, that you can see here. The Toradex is installer. The Toradex is installer is a very useful tool uh, that helps you to download and flash an image that flash an operation system on your computer model, on the storage memory of your computer model. Our computer models from Toradex comes with the Toradex installer pre-installed. And also you can connect remotely Toradex installer. I'm here on my the bottom PC and I'm connecting uh, the Toradex installer via VNC client. We can use the IP address from the board or a USB, a micro USB connection uh, between the board and your development PC. And now we have here all the lists uh, from operation systems and images that we can download and install on our Apollis. I'm not using the default feeds. We have here the Toradex image server and Toradex 3D party image server. But I am using two the Toradex continuous integration servers because I want to use the nightly builds from Horizon. Horizon has the uh, quarterly releases, the monthly releases and the nightly builds. The image that we have here on the default uh, Toradex image server is the monthly release. And the monthly release comes with the portainer and other uh, containers pre-provisioned on the image. So I do not use it, I will download and flash the nightly version, this development version that is the Horizon Core, it's only the Horizon distribution with no containers, only the Docker runtime and dependencies to run Docker. So I will double click here and we will confirm to install. And now it's only uh, wait the Toradex installer download and flash uh, Horizon on our computer model. Okay, so Horizon is installed and now we can reboot the board to see uh, Horizon booting. Let's reboot the board, wait for the boot. And, and here we have the Horizon splash screen. I'm also here with a serial connection, okay? Uh, um, serial to USB converter and I have it here so I can connect the bash screen and terminal from Horizon using a um, serial to USB converter. So okay, to login uh, we have the default Horizon user 
and the password, the default password is Torizon2. Okay, on the first boot or on your first try to access Torizon user, uh, the system will require you to change your default password. So uh, you have to enter the current password, Torizon, and a new password. Okay, so with this done, we are done. All the installation and increased access to Horizon is done. And now we can see here that uh, we have a Docker runtime, a Docker uh, running on your Horizon core operation system. So it's it. A uh, minimal Linux distribution with only the dependencies uh, for run a Docker runtime. You can see here, we do not have a desktop environment running on our screen. Only, only the bash here, uh, the console um, asking for login, because we do not need this here. With the Docker runtime, we can build a Docker image with an Wayland compositor or some um, desktop environment or, or application to run directly on Docker. So all we need is a Docker runtime. Okay, so operation systems with the focus on containers are nothing new. Uh, maybe you have heard about, uh, for example, the Head Hat and Core OS or the Hancher uh, OS, but these guys are used on the cloud market. The news that Horizon is part of is uh, this kind of distribution with the focus on containers are now gaining ground in the embedded systems market. So uh, the main idea is to deliver outboard support package, the bootloader, the kernel, the drivers, uh, the main distribution services uh, with the minimal required and dependencies to run an uh, over tier system update and a container runtime. Actually, Horizon use a Docker as a um, container runtime. And with that said, we can see the advantage of use of Horizon here. Uh, having all this BSP delivered by the hardware manufacturer, uh, being maintained with security updates using the mainline kernel, uh, and distro ready to use the user. Uh, can be concerned with what really matters. Uh, that is the development of their software solution and the application. Uh, but okay, I could do that with Yogg to project too. Uh, Toradex already provides me all the BSP recipes for Yogg too. So then I can add my recipes with my application and dependencies for my application. It's done. I can build my own uh, distribution, right? But the focus of Horizon is on the ease of use. So instead, you have to build all your distro uh, that consumes time. You have to have your knowledge, a good machine uh, with good resources to compile, uh, to cross-compile from the source all the dependencies and the distro. You will only worry about uh, deliver your application in a container. Using a ready-made distro, it packages already compiled for ARM architecture and ready for use. Okay, to simplify this ease of use, uh, let's say we have to develop an application uh, that's just an LED blank. Okay, so we need to write a bash script that you use the libgpiod binaries to set or to change the state of the pin every one second. Okay, it's a simple application. So for the development of my application, I will follow the Yocto development process and the Docker development process uh, to compare these two and show the time I spent on the two. Uh, I make a speed up here, so you can see I wrote uh, the bash script, I wrote the docker file, I make the docker build, I make the docker push, and this spent me only 7 minutes. On the other side, yoc to dev I get the recipes from Toradex as base, 
and add on recipe to uh, put my best script for the LED blink uh, to my distribution. So um, this is, is still um, baking, this is still compiling out the BSP and distribution after uh, one hour. And after one hour I stop to record this, but this takes me more three hours uh, to complete with some errors that I have to uh, fix too. And don't get me wrong with this comparison here, I'm not trying to say uh, that Yocto is bad. It has its pros and cons, um, such as using the Docker containers for embedded Linux, and uh, Horizon, for example, is built uh, with Yocto project. Uh, so what we are doing here is being smart and reusing the work that is already done, and working only on what is really needed, uh, speeding up uh, the process of development. So, okay, I'm back here on the serial connection accessing uh, the terminal of Horizon. And now that we already have our application developed and push it to Docker Hub, it's easy uh, to test on our board using Horizon. Uh, we have only to make the docker run, uh, you pass some arguments here to use the GPIO and I will pass uh, my account on docker hub and the application name. With this uh, the docker will um, pull the image uh, from docker hub and after that uh, docker will run our image and we will have uh, the here the LED blinking as expected. So that's it, guys. Um, Horizon and a uh, LED blinking inside a container. So I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like here. Uh, if you don't like, no problem, leave your dislike and comment, leave your uh, comment below about what you don't like. If you have any question or uh, want to discuss something, leave it also here uh, in the comments below. I would like to know and talk with you. So uh, that's it and see you next video.